basically this is how you set up lock and beams. You'll have a piece of damp running underneath here, a piece of damp underneath this side, and then on the drawing it shows you whether you put the block lengthways or widthways, depending on the length of the beams, obviously indicates which way you put them. The centres between these two beams, centre to centre, is 490 mil. So it's really important that I remember that centre of 490. Also the height of the beam, it's a 150 beam as well. So if we go through now, let's have a look at that. So what we're going to do is now look at the block and beam drawing. What we have here, this is a company called Lightcast. So as you can see, we've got all these beams running through here. Uh, 3150. You're probably thinking why are these different to these? Now the reason being is that this is a 9 inch wall and that's a 300 mil wall. So obviously the two differences and then obviously we've got a uh, block work laying flat here to obviously take the relevant length that we want. So what will happen is that we know that the centres are 490 from beam to beam to beam to beam to beam. Now remember me saying to you about some block and beams get actually laid uh, lengthways or widthways and the thing is is this is a great example because these beams are quite long so basically that's the length of the block and then the width of the block length of the block width of the block and that's what we'll do and then obviously on the perimeters where the block goes from the beam then sits onto a load of slips which I can show you in a minute but if you can imagine at 490 from there to there to there to there so that tells me in the existing part of the building here which is this part of the wall here I've got to cut all the sockets in and then this one here, cut all the sockets into here as well. So we'll actually put the first beam in at this centre here. It will tuck it nice and tight as it shows on the drawing of this position here. Now the other thing we've got to take into consideration is that they're the floor joists of the other floor, the other side. So if you can imagine we've got 20 mil on top of those, haven't we? So what we would do is measure the 20 mil, then measure down what we require to the underneath the beam, which will tell us where we've then got to make sure we do the relevant brickwork and cut the slot too, so we can make sure the block and beam sits in and obviously we'll wrap it in damp and then it can sit on there quite nicely. So let's have a quick look. I've got here 20 mil flooring, 75 mil of screed, 125 mil of insulation, 155 of beams. Now we know the beam is actually uh, 150, so all of those measurements come together, come to 375, take off the 5 mil here, that means it's 3 meters and 70 mil. So what we're gonna do is, if we then measure down from this beam here, now obviously don't forget, on top of this, 20 mil. So we're gonna measure up 20 mil. You can actually see at 370, we actually come to the bottom of that brick. So that's really cool. So I know that I could actually, on this course here, take that or clean that away really nicely. And I'll take this course off as well. And then I can actually build a brick in there nicely to bring me up to the level. I'll probably end up, as I cut them out, I'll end up then just spinning the brick on a header. I can then bed it to exact height I want to do. The other thing I'm going to take advantage of is this footing. So basically I'll have a decent pocket on there, but I'm also going to put an additional run of block work and brickwork on this. So just to give the beam a bit more support. I know it's a little bit over the top, but I am a bit like that. And then obviously doing the same here as well. So I'll have a good pocket in there and a good bearing on here as well. And this is where it shows you then all of the new block and beam going in on this section here, which I can show you in a lot more detail later. So. Okay guys, so that just gives you a bit of a quick rundown of the block and beam and how we address it and how we deal with it. I'll show you a little bit more technical information as we're then doing it. Okay guys. So it's another lovely Monday. All the footings have now poured. We've got Alex in the gym now, just starting to uh, mark out all the relevant footings. What we're still doing, we've put the lines through as we normally do. Jim's just smearing some mortar on the floor so we can plumb everything down. We've squared everything up. We've done the diagonals now. So we're pretty happy with everything. So all we're gonna do is just make sure we get into what we want it to be. 
As you can see over here, Alex is doing the same. He's just plumbing down from the line here. We've got this line here nice and square. We've done the diagonal across there, as I said earlier. We're just getting the site set up now. We've got a mixer, always for mortar. And then we've got this one for mixing the concrete. Keep them individual. We've got ourselves a nice tub. The aid is kind of limited us because the other one's uh, gone a bit knackered. So we keep up a water drum so it can keep that continually full. So we're not having to keep relying on a hose. We're going to get the compound set up. So we put the sand over here, two mixers side by side here. We've got the laser level set up. So obviously we can then get the relevant damps, the relevant block work, heights where we need them to be to take the block and beam. You'll see this now on the time lapse all being done, but I'll give you a bit more of an update once we've got it all set up. All right, guys. Hey guys, well, it's been an awesome day. We have really smashed it today. We have got the block and beam in, but you can see all the beams now pretty much nearly in there. We've just got to cut one in here, and then obviously we've got to sort this beam out here, and then we can put all the slip bricks in. But you can see we've got the damping now, got the seven Newton blocks in, got the beams crossing over really nicely so we can get all the other blocks that need to go in, get the slips in that need to go in. We've done the drainage run over here today. We have really, really smashed it today. I mean, uh, if ever we do deserve a point, it's today. So Alex is now starting to lay the actual uh, blocks and the uh, slip bricks for the block and beam. You can see the slip bricks that are supplied by the uh, block and beam company. They go underneath and then they're bedded on all the way through. There's a uh, run of damp underneath all of that as well. And that's what happens as you're running all the way through. You can see that detail here, which is really cool. Bed them up so they actually go level with the beam here. So as you cut the block and then place it on top, it then comes level with the block and beam through this detail here at the moment. 